Hello, everybody. Um, so I wanted to do um, this discussion on this post on answering um, Urban Acolyte on um, one of his posts on his YouTube channel. And by the way, hello, if you hear this. And um, it's specifically it's a post about Carrie Fisher, um, her recent passing, and what the franchise will have to do in the coming upcoming movies um, and uh, and that's the main topic of his um, post but uh, he also touches on Kylo Ren's redemption and I wanted to say something about that as well and I'll start with this second thing and then end with the Carrie Fisher part but um, Kylo Ren um, do Urban Acolyte um, mentioned discusses at some point um, the fact that he m loses uh, with Carrie Fisher's passing uh, all his possibilities of redemption in the story because having killed his father in the narrative and having lost Carrie Fisher in reality we w it's kind of hard for him to redeem his patricide which is amongst the even in antiquity and mythology and um, and so on is one of the biggest crimes that you can commit. I mean, this is clearly um, um, following on uh, Oedipus, um, the, the themes of Oedipus. And of course, yes, it's also Kylo Ren deciding to invest and wanting to invest into the dark side and asking his father help to take that decision, blah, blah, blah. But um, what I wanted to say is two things on regards and the first is that in it's not particularly true that um, in mythological structure redemption has to be through the family or the parents in this case um, for example Gilgamesh in his saga and um, I'm quoting um, an Giovanni Pettinato in, in his analysis of Gilgamesh and um, what he says is that Gilgamesh ends with um, the failure of the hero as a hero because he fails to achieve um, eternal life I'm sorry if you haven't read it uh, spoiler but um, he does however um, achieve victory as a human um, in as he learns some very important lessons in it so in, in this mythological structure which by the way is the um, source material for everything when you go and study mythology or more or less um, the, the, the idea is that the hero actually doesn't achieve his quest and that he um, nonetheless has another victory a victory win in specific it's his understanding of life and giving a meaning of life and having a good life and uh, being good about it so, which is what Lucas talks in, an, in another video I made and, uh, he's interested in the good and evil and uh, um, so the theme of redemption is one that does not have to be explored specifically through the hero's quest but can be um, acquisition of knowledge understanding and such and such and in as I said in Gilgamesh the classic mythological example for excellence it actually happens that way um, so th this is one thing I can say for Kylo Ren he, he, his, his path can still um, lead to redemption as far as uh, that redemption is, is within the narrative um, narratives objectives um, and on the other hand, what I wanted to say is that um, Ray is also another um, point of um, possible redemption for Kylo Ren. Some people have discussed about her connection to Kylo in um, a Jedi Academy um, sometime in between um, 6 and 7. And um, there is also conjecture about um, Kylo Ren uh, uh, during his fight with Rey in um, not investing all his strength and skill in it. Of course he's also um, wounded but it seems like he's actually um, he's poking Rey from one side so apparently his, his saber technique is a lot more um, 
not evolve. Uh, he's just more skillful. He has knowledge of the sword techniques that go behind these combat skill. Why Ray clearly is a novice. She has no induction to it, and so this is um, spe there is speculation on the fact that Kylo is not fully invested in this fight for some reason, and it might be because and some people have theories about Kylo it being the one who abandons Rey in the um, Jaffa, no, what's the name of the planet, I don't remember, who abandons Rey at the beginning of the movie. Um, so Kylo is surely, still has a point of redemption through Rey and actually I see that as very plausible. And that's the end of the thing I wanted to say on um, Kylo, but um, about um, Carrie Fisher and what Urban Acolyte talks about in his um, video, and the possibility of not using her or removing her from uh, the plot line of all future movies. Um, and I seem to understand that from what he says, the main uh, argument, for, uh, the main points for this argument is that um, it would be harder to produce new source material um, for uh, Leia in her future, not Leia in the past, because uh, we already seen in Rogue One that we CGI can clearly tackle the issue of taking some old footage and using it in new material, because we have Carrie Fisher, well I'm not going to say it if you haven't seen it, so, um, but, and I think it should be relevant to mention that, like with Crow and um, the Hunger Games, we've had a lot of cases where um, actors have passed away during a movie and uh, footage has been created anyway through CGI. So I don't think that's terribly implausible, but um, I don't even want to go into any of this, what I wanted to say, and I think is interesting um, to Urban Acolyte's discussion, is that um, I think there is something else that will uh, be determining in seeing whether Leia stays or not mm. in the new movies and basically and it's what I find myself to be attracted with with the passing of Carrie Fisher I think um, I am particularly interested in going to see 8 if not even for Star Wars which I do anyways um, more so now to see Carrie Fisher's last performance and possibly to see it um, at the movies and possibly thus to see it with um, in the community and possibly a Star Wars community so uh, the, the whole idea of sharing of uh, saying a last goodbye to Carrie Fisher through 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 the, the eight which still has to come is something that I cherish as an idea and I think a lot of people will as well. Um, besides we also have one hour and a half of um, deleted footage from The Force Awakens 7 um, and the plot line that apparently uh, involves mainly Carrie Fisher. Um, so that's something I also look forward to, seeing this footage about her uh, and seeing the footage that which she has and which is finished about 8. I mean I, I think I would be outraged and I hope and I think that the whole Star Wars community would be outraged if we were to remove this footage of a person that has passed away and that we all cherish was just removed to make the story work. Um, it's, it's somehow in, in uh, paying respects to leaving that material there. She has worked to it. It was the last one of the last things she was doing. She was of course working also on a TV series in London. Um, but it's her, her, it's, it's her goodbye to us. And it it, it was it would just be bad taste not to give it to us and to her as well somehow. Um, I mean she's an actor she, she 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 clearly did it because she wanted to share her skill with the rest of the world and show it and and she, thus she must have cherished I hope her job um, and for this reason I hope she would cherish the idea of sharing the material she has uh, she the work she did on Star Wars Eight with us. Um, so yeah, that, that's it. I, I just look a lot. Um, I found myself to be looking forward much more to Star Wars Eight um, than I had before Carrie Fisher's passing, um, and I think that will, will would be determining in choosing whether this um, her uh, her role is is still portrayed and kept in the plot line as far as possible, 
I'm not sure what will happen in 9, they might just use a, a little footage and adapt it instead of making it end. It probably will work with the plotline anyways, because apparently in Force Awakens we've seen how they removed one hour and a half of her footage. Um, but I really hope they don't do anything like that. In fact, I, I hope that her passing is um, something that pushes towards putting more of this footage in the first and original version and not into later um, DVD, Blu-ray, um, ex extended content and so on. So that's my answer to Urban Acolyte. I hope you hear it uh, and goodbye.